guys, welcome back to the channel. Everyone's having a great day today. So I was working on another video for today, but that's getting put on hold because kind of the project itself isn't done. Um, Michael's here and putting in tons of work on the Mazda today. Uh, he was trying to install a new turbo. It's currently 9.39 p.m. when I'm filming this specific clip. And uh, it's still not done. We've been working at this since about three. So Michael's tired, I'm tired. Um, but he's ballsy enough to work through the night in this weather to get it done. So props to him. If you haven't already, go subscribe to Michael's channel. I'll put it up on screen here for you guys. Um, but this, this video is going to serve as a monthly update. So I'll have that video with Michael's car and the new turbo coming soon. Uh, whenever me and him get back together and we can shoot a video with it, uh, we will. But Michael's plan is to just work through the night. Um, I've got school, so I, unfortunately I can't be out there helping all night myself, uh, or else I would. Uh, but he's going to get that done at some point during the night and, uh, do whatever it is he wants to do. Um, so like I said, go subscribe to his channel because, uh, the kid's about it. So anyway, monthly update, let's talk about everything. So RT2 wise, I'm going to start off with RT2 because, uh, there's just been so much work going into videos behind the scenes for that channel. Um, that channel is, in case you guys don't know what RT2 is, it's my dedicated gaming slash computer channel. Uh, I post a lot about my computer and gaming escapades on Twitter, if you guys don't follow my Twitter page. Um, but, uh, yeah, RT2 is kind of just where everything that's not car and vlog related goes. So, uh, you can probably tell, we're in a completely different office setup. Uh, I've actually revised everything. I've got a brand new monitor, I've got my Mac Pro in here now, instead of outside, which is what I used to edit these videos on. Uh, and all in all, I mean, I prefer this setup over what was there before. My room is a lot more free because I don't have a, a this giant 60 pound tower in the way, or almost 70 pound tower. Um, so it, it makes things a lot better, but anyway, that's not really the point, but I'll have a whole bunch of videos dropping on this as well as my other laptop, not my ROG laptop, that's usually in here, but my other laptop, um, my MacBook that I use for school. Uh, as well as um, as well doing work with this and doing all sorts of jazz because this is now my pro my proprietary gaming rig. This is what I use. Um, so keep an eye out for those videos on that side. If you're into that kind of stuff, tech, gaming, whatever, go check out RT2. Um, it's linked in the description as well as in the suggested channels area of this of this channel. So I guess let's move on to the stuff you guys really care about when it comes to this channel, and that's the car stuff. So if you guys didn't watch the last live stream, uh, which I recommend you do, it was a really good live stream. It was about an hour and some change long. Um, me and Hayden talked about pretty much, we were celebrating the truck because uh, it was the four year anniversary of the day I got the truck, what, I, what, what a lot of people call gotcha day. So for animals really more than they do cars. But anyway, um, it was the four-year anniversary of me getting the truck, and I wanted to do a live stream to kind of celebrate it. Um, well, it was more Hayden's idea than mine. Hayden suggested it originally, and I was like, oh, yeah, well, today's that day, so let's do the live stream. Uh, and we talked about kind of the future of the truck project, and pretty much we're moving towards now. I know this is going to piss a lot of you guys off because a lot of you guys have been waiting for this for years. Uh, we're moving towards moving to we're getting rid of the whole engine project idea for now We're putting it on hold once again uh, And the reason for that is I'm afraid about what I like to call the cost to happiness ratio if I'm gonna invest You know the insane of a lot of uh, amount of money I'm gonna need to do anything when, when it comes to either building the 4 or swapping a 5 in it I don't know if the if the happiness ratio is gonna be there. I don't know if the money is gonna be worth it for me um to be happy, you know, is building out a 4 and getting 400 horsepower at the end of the day going to be what makes me happy? And I couldn't give you a solid answer. So I decided, you know, I'm going to stretch what I have out because uh, I didn't even know how much it was going to cost. I've seen such varying prices for uh, engine replacements or rebuilds and stuff like that, that I was just like, I want to do something smart. So what we're doing instead is we're going to move towards just a full bolt-on setup uh, for now, we're going to keep the current motor that's in it in there. It's relatively healthy, so I'm not worried about it too much. I mean, I am kind of worried about it, but I'm not that worried about it, I guess. Um, we'll pop we'll pop the headers on. We'll do some work on the pulley side of things to try to clean up the belt chatter and stuff like that and make it run better and run happier. And then from there, we'll probably I'll have Michael probably work on building a new intake setup for the truck um, because Michael can do that now. And he's really talented at that kind of stuff. Um We'll move towards uh, getting, like I said, getting the headers done, the full exhaust done, stuff like that. And, uh, of course, a new actually worth or intake that's actually going to help. Because uh, that's been one issue with mine, uh, my cheap intake, because it sucks really bad. Don't buy that intake, please. But 
um, anyway, that's kind of where we're at with the truck, is we're going to move towards a full bolt-on setup and possibly get it painted. The goal is is that that's going to be the move. Um, I have plenty of money to make that happen right now uh, because of what was originally planning on funding that engine build. So the goal is, is just to get that done, get the truck painted. I've already decided the color, and I'm not going to say a dang thing about it until it's done. So don't ask me about it. Like I'm just saying this as a preliminary. Don't ask me about the color because I'm not going to reveal it until it's done. Um, I think you guys are gonna like it, especially if you've been subscribed for a very long time. The color is gonna be very familiar for you guys. So that's all. The, that's the only hint I'm giving you is the color you've seen before on the channel at some point. Just think of all the cars you've seen on this channel and think of all the colors you've seen. Just so that's kind of where we're at. Um, so that's what we're moving towards. We're gonna you know change from the only one specific item getting done to multiple like you know killing multiple birds with one stone. So I mean, we're knocking out the bodywork, the paint, as well as you know making it run better, uh, repairing leaks and stuff like that, uh, and having a full bolt-on truck. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be plenty fun, and that's what I wanted. Uh, I wanted something that was decently fun. And then the issue is again the cost of happiness when it comes to the whole engine build. Because a lot of people are like, why don't you just go ahead and supercharge it anyway? Because the issue is gonna be cost to happiness ratio. So that's one of my biggest deals right now is you know making sure that everything works out how it should. Anyway, that's the truck as a whole. So let's talk about the channel. So, uh, I've been thinking about branching out and doing a lot of different kind of car content. You guys have seen the last few months, I've done stuff like automotive theory videos on the Mark V to uh, even bringing back car reviews briefly for the Equinox review not too long ago. Um, so I wanna know what you guys want me to do more of. Obviously stuff like racing and some of that's not stuff you're gonna see very often on this channel, uh, unless it's very specific matchups. Stuff like myself versus my dad's 3.7 comes to mind. Um, that's kind of it. And I mean, we all know how that ended and not, not that much has changed since then. So, uh, well, that's why there hasn't been any sort of rematch or anything. Um, then, you know, stuff like that. And obviously no illegal shenanigans, stuff that can get me in trouble because obviously there's been a huge issue with car YouTubers, uh, posting racing videos and getting pulled over and arrested for it. So that's kind of like, I'm trying to avoid that because I, I don't want to go to jail. I mean, I, I think the majority of us don't want to go to jail. So that's kind of where we at, where, where I'm at, I should say. I'm, I'm way too tired for this. Um, but yeah, so I want to know what you guys want me to do in terms of uh, car content that could I could branch out upon and have an easier time doing when stuff like the truck build is slowed down or something like that when the truck's gone or something like that, you know, getting work done because I mean it's going to be at the shop quite a bit for paint and for some of the leak repairs because I don't have any sort of mechanical skill set to do it here, you know, stuff like the steering rack. Um, and that's going to be, you know, a big project in itself. Obviously, I have the I'll probably my goal is to take it in and get everything knocked out at once. Get the pulleys done because I mean I feel like the crank the uh, crank pulley is what's causing my belt chatter. So the sooner that gets replaced, the better. Um, as well as getting in there with the headers and all that stuff and getting all that installed. Uh, I will have my new mufflers coming very soon. Um, I need to go ahead and buy those at some point. Uh, I'm getting the Magnaflow six inch Magna packs pretty much. So it's effectively like building our own custom Magnaflow competition set, which is what I wanted. Uh, and then from there we'll have, you know, the paintwork and stuff probably after that, once it's mechanically sound, uh, we'll also take care of a couple of little things like, um, just getting, you know, just getting the engine tip, like, you know, tip top shape for it's for what it is. I mean, it's a 240,000 mile engine. So that's kind of what we're working towards. Uh, just making it run as best as it can. And looks the best of the cat for now. So obviously that puts a damper on projects like the headlights and stuff like that. The goal is is to have the headlights being built while the truck's in the shop. That way, when it comes back, we can ha we'll have the lights. We can just slap them in, wire them up, and we're done. Uh, and that way, we can have content for you guys coming still with the truck build, even when it's not here. Um, so I don't know how that's going to line up, but we'll try our best to have everything line up properly where we can, you know, still do truck content even when the truck's not here. But again, uh, if you guys have any sort of crazy ideas for just cool content you guys want me to film, if you guys want to bring back car reviews, I mean, we got a Mazda that's sitting on the driveway that once it's finished, we can do reviews on. Uh, probably not, definitely not tonight because again, I've got class in the morning and I have to knock this video out and sleep and all that jazz. So, um... Yeah, if you guys have any sort of ideas, let me know what we can do, and uh, I can try to make content that you guys want to see with cars and stuff like that. So, like I said, that's going to be wrap. That's going to wrap everything up for the night. I am so tired, I can't even keep my words straight. <laughs> um, like I said, if you guys like gaming and tech and all that kind of stuff, go subscribe to RT2, Rose Tires 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, links in the description as well as the suggested page on this channel. Um, truck is going full bolt-ons and going to be getting painted soon. I about accidentally said what color I'm painting it. 
Um, I'll keep you guys updated on it uh, periodically. I've just got to get some quotes together. My dad knows a friend that runs a professional paint booth, so we might be able to get in with him and work something out on that end. Um, who <laughs> heck, Hayden might paint it. He's got he's got a sprayer. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. Um, as well as just everything else with, that I said about the video. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everyone.